Hello everybody. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Time to take that walk and go see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Thanks so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. Guys, today's beer comes from Trillium Brewing. Yep, I'm a lucky guy. Greg sent me the beer barrel package here a couple days ago. And this is probably something that I would not pick up for myself. Being a 4.2 percenter, guys. I don't even look at those beers. I don't even look at them. Not even the time of day. Nope. But, when they're sent to me, I do review them. And especially if they come from somewhere like Trillium or Treehouse or some of the other breweries that produce the outstanding world-class beers that, uh, that they are known for. And why people stand in line for hours on end to get their hands on their beers. I mean, a lot, a lot of breweries say they have that problem. There are some that do. And there's a reason for that. So, trust me, a 4.2 from these guys may be super impressive to even this old guy. So, I always keep an open mind. So, uh, like I said, not something that I would pay the time of day to normally. But coming from Trillium, this may be worthy. So, let's find out. This is daily serving uh, raspberry, strawberry, blueberry, and cranberry. 4.2%. No IBUs are given. Greg, again, thank you so much. I mean, uh, I'm looking forward to this. 4.2% beers usually don't impress this guy, but coming from Trillium, it might. It might. So we're going to see. Uh, from here we go to his notes, and he says these fruited sour beers are quite popular. Yeah, I would agree, and they're gaining in popularity. I find this style to be hit or miss, either really good or really bad. And that's as far as he goes. He doesn't tell me whether he's had it or not, or whether he likes it or not, or whatever. So I guess it's on me. Uh, and they don't do a whole lot of I mean, specialty, fancy artwork. It's, they're pretty plain, pretty to the point, and yeah, it catch my eye. I mean, it doesn't have to be super intense or... Uh, complex or whatever guys I mean this is a meat this is a scale with a bunch of fruit stacked on the damn plate there and it's a Berliner Weiss which is a wheat beer um, with raspberry strawberry blueberry and cranberry 4.2 percent alcohol and my gosh I don't think they could write it any smaller on the bottom uh, 11 18 22 so November 18th right before Thanksgiving uh, we're, we're within a month on this one so yes this should be very tasty according to untapped they have it brewed with a luscious blend of raspberry strawberries blueberries and cranberries this edition pours a gorgeous ruby red massive yammy aromatics abound mm. Offering mouth-watering notes of raspberry sorbet, blackberry preserves, and strawberry candies with bouncy acidity from the addition of cranberries. Cranberries, imagine that. I think it said it had cranberries in it. Uh, finishing medium-bodied and slightly sweet with a refreshing tartness. And this again is a sour burlon wheat. So, wheat beer, sour beer. So, let's find out. Let's pop it up. Thanks again, Greg. Merry Christmas, everybody. It's a coming. You better be good. I ain't lying. All right, nice purple. It looks like grape juice a little bit. But with the sours, they can do all kind of crazy stuff. And this was not doing the crazy stuff. I mean, yeah, I mean I've mean, i had them do some of them sours will produce a head that look like a creature from outer space. All right, there we go. I almost got it all in there. And then one little bit more in there. Almost a finger of head. And that's very cloudy, very milky, grapey looking. Not a pleasant, a 
picture of a beer. If you sat that down in, in front of me 15 years ago, I'm going to say, what the hell is that? But yeah, that's what we've come to nowadays now, guys. I mean, I cannot see absolutely no light through that. It is a very milky, purplish color. I mean, is that what you see? That's what I see. Mm -hmm. To the nose we go. Eh. It's definitely a wheat beer. And it's got a super bunch of stuff going on. I mean, just imagine doing what they've said they've done. Imagine taking a half a cup of raspberries, half a cup of strawberries, half a cup of blueberries, half a cup of cranberries. You put those in a blender or a food processor and boom, you mix it up, you pour it in a glass. That's what that smells like when you get all four of those fruits mixed together. It's a rash straw blue crayon. It's a rash bear soup crayon. <laughs> That's what it smells like, guys. That's what I said. Cheers. Thank you, Greg. And again, that's basically what I'm getting in the taste. A combination of you blending those four fruits in there with a slightly sour tasting yeast. Still pleasant. Very pleasant. That's definitely different. I think it's definitely a winner. I think it's super impressive for a wheat beer and a sour beer. And for that many different fruits coming together, it is super drinkable, quaffable. Uh, it's an outstanding version of a Berliner Weiss Sour. With these four fruits in it, it's a home run, guys. That is super impressive. It's not too tart to me. I can't even, I can't, I don't taste any alcohol courses. I ain't got much, but it's just like some, uh, somebody took raspberries, strawberries, blueberries, cranberries, put them in a blender and handed you some kind of drink concoction out of that because that's what I'm getting. It's a blend of those four tastes. Super enjoyable. And then think of it, if it's that tasty and got that much stuff going on and it's a 16 ounce can and it's 4.2 percent not much alcohol so that means you can have two of these for basically of what you're going to get out of a 8.4 percent beer in the same can so you can have two of these which is going to last you a little longer and you're going to have the same amount of alcohol so, drink one of these in an hour, or I mean one of those in an hour, or drink one of the two of these in two hours. So, um, same difference. It just lasted twice as long. And you got the same buzz. So, do you want that buzz in an hour, or do you want that buzz in two hours? Simple math. <laughs> I'm going to go step on this. Charging batteries in that calculator. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Got just a little left. Super tasty. This is world class in this style, guys, especially for the, that low of an ABV. And to have this much taste, uh, yes, it's a winner. It's definitely an impressive beer to drink. Uh, I'm kind of blown away by how much taste this beer has and the mouthfeel of a 4.2 percenter. Uh, impressive. Super impressive. I think it's world class in the style, guys. I mean, now my cup of tea that I would probably purchase because of the ABV content, because I don't session beers, but for what it is, it's the best of what it is. Final chug. It's got a super taste. Uh, my friend Dennis tasted it, and he thought it was awesome. The old lady, not so much. She's not into the sours. And it's an, it is an acquired taste, but I think Dennis appreciates, even though she's probably tasted more craft beers than he has, 
uh, it's just not, it's an acquired taste. I mean, if you don't like that sour-esque uh, qualities that these beers have, it might not be your cup of tea. But if it is, this one hits a home run. I don't care. Outstanding beer with the wheat and the hops and the fruit. Yes. It's a winner, guys. Uh, it's actually a little bit better than what I reviewed yesterday for 4500 for the style that it's in. I would probably purchase yesterday's beer a lot more often or with less reserve than I would purchasing a 4.2 percenter. But again, for the style that it's in and the ABV that it's in and the taste that I'm getting, yes, guys. 97, 98, yeah, I mean, it could easily be at 100, uh, and if you say it is, I would not argue with that one bit. So, uh, to me, guys, uh, yeah, I'm going to give it, I'm going to give it a 98. I'm going to give it a 98. So, uh, over to Beer Advocate, man, it's not even a lesson, and they've done so many of the daily servings, and then they've got a double daily serving of a lot of these beers that they've done versions of so a whole lot uh, of different versions of this series uh, from these guys and again uh, they've done oh lord i mean there's a bunch of them and it's not even listed here yet it's so new that it's not listed there and uh, like, only 40 people have commented on it. so it's pretty pretty new release from these guys so I can understand why it's not over there yet so and they have it at 4.39 outstanding numbers uh, on this beer guys so that's definitely their solid A beer number there so if you've had the uh, raspberry strawberry blueberry cranberry version of daily serving let me know what you think I think it's pretty impressive beer for a 4.2 percenter so Greg, once again, thank you, my brother. I do appreciate it, guys. We got some more beers he sent coming up. Till we meet again, let's go see what's in the fridge.